It's Sean Savage. We're here at Play the Record Academy on ICS Media. We're going to talk today about the Armix software, and with me today is Lyle from Roland. Hello. And for the for the students out there and the people who are watching this, tell us a bit about Roland, the company itself. They might not know um, the history behind it. Sure. Uh, Roland's been around since 1972. Um, it's a Japanese company. And Roland's been a manufacturer of musical instruments for many years and also computer software, audio interfaces, MIDI interfaces. There's a lot of famous Roland gear out there. 808 drum machines is an example. So if you remember Kanye's record 808 and Heartbreak, that's a Roland drum machine. Also 909s for drum machines, 303s for synthesizers, SH-101s. A lot of these instruments have actually created genres of music. So Roland is a musical instrument manufacturer has been very important in the last 20, 30 years. So if I wanted one of those 303s, 404s, or the 808s or 809s, yeah. can I get one? Uh, well, we don't make them anymore. Uh, you could probably still get one on eBay somewhere, yeah. but they're, they're quite a bit more expensive than they used to be. So, uh, yeah. And going off of that heritage of the company, right. um, I know, you know the Juno and there are a lot of other cool software and hardware since, right. um, especially those dance and urban sounds. Right. Roland's known for that. But there's a new software, the Armix. Why don't you tell yeah. us a bit about that, what it does, and, and sure. see how it works. Uh, Armix is a uh, basically a new audio processing software from Roland, and it uses something called uh, visual audio manipulation. So what you can do is you can take a stereo two-track wave file from a CD and basically uh, use Armix to edit out certain parts of the song. So just to kind of give an example, we can just import a stereo two-track WAV file into the computer. And this is the graphical representation of what's happening. So in our mix, we can see anything that's uh, white or red is the high energy part of the mix. So this part in the middle is probably the vocal. So it's the loudest part of the mix. And then it goes from uh, red to green to blue to black. So the black, there's no energy. So there's nothing in the mix in the black area. The frequencies are uh, up and down. So it's low to high frequencies. So we can tell maybe a bass part might be at the bottom here. And uh, some of the higher pitch stuff might be things like vocals, guitar parts. Because we can tell what's happening in the mix, I can use a square or a circle and I can actually isolate something like the vocal. Now isolating the vocal, we can do things like use the vocal in a remix. I can also take out the vocal. If I just want to use the music in the song for a mashup, a remix, maybe even a karaoke type of file. I can also do things like repan the vocal. So for remastering music or remastering certain parts of a song, even adding effects, maybe a delay, just to the one part of the mix. And this is all with just a CD track imported into the software.